Okay, so what is adequate watering? When, uh, when watering, you've got to think about a variety of factors. On the one hand, if you don't water enough, then uh, your stuff will dry out and won't sprout. On the other hand, if you water too much, then um, you may have too much mold and uh, your stuff will get eaten by fungus. And uh, it, it's not just on a kind of a, a, like different plants have different needs. And so some of them need more water, some of them need less water. And um, here, usually I would recommend a uh, sterile potting mix for seed starting. But uh, this, this last year, uh, the organic seed starting mix that I got had uh, mycorrhizal fungi in it. So we're going to be seeing what the results of that are. Here's the one that I got. Some kind of premium organic starting mix. And it's been alright, but uh, I don't... We will have to see later on if it works out. You see, this looks a little dry to me, but you can see there's a, that these have been well colonized. Um, so, well, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but see over here, there's a little bit of fungus, uh, mycelium, that's growing on it. And that is characteristic of the mycorrhizal fungi. Now, one of the things that I did in order to reduce the risk, so you, if you see over here, do you see that mycorrhizal fungi? That white spot in the middle? Okay. Here, some of these are, are rocks. They're, they're perlite. Uh, but some of the other ones, like this over here, that's some mycorrhizal fungi. And uh, so... These are honey locusts in here, and now you don't want them uh, to give the mycorrhizal fungi too much of an advantage, especially since um, these seeds are here for several months while they're cold stratifying. So instead of keeping them at fridge temperatures, uh, which is 4 degrees Celsius, like many other people do. What I do is I have a heating system. Uh, I can show you guys later. It's an Arduino with a relay. And uh, that hooks up to a thermometer and a heater with a fan. So that I keep the temperatures around negative five um, in the winter. And uh, in the daytime, it heats up above that uh, to positive temperatures. <laughs> like right now, it might be maybe 10 in here. And that helps with the cracking of the shells. Um, and uh, it's, uh, so I, I, I've had very good success with that model in the past and uh, we're we're getting through march and pretty soon i will be uh turning up the heat to be uh stay between negative uh or positive temperatures and then uh then they'll start cracking open and uh we're going to uh see those sprouts okay until next time, remember to like and subscribe, and if you want more, uh, you know, donate to the Patreon below. Okay, bye! Love you!